I'm back with more stereotypes, this time with a $200 microphone and an actual editing software. There is a surprising amount of custom weapons on TC2, more than you think. You just don't realize that it's so many because three-fourths of the weapons are complete garbage and you never see them. But don't get me wrong, I adore the inclusion of them. Some weapons I tried for the very first time recording this video. And although nothing changed my mind on the entire playstyle of the class, some did give me a good moment. By the way, I do read your comments about your opinions on the weapons I cover, so please do leave a comment below if you feel like I missed an important stereotype. That being said, these stereotypes aren't to be taken at face value. This is for jokes, people. And then I see someone DMing me complaining how the Maxine is superior and isn't a waste of ammo, then maybe I'll think twice before making more TC2 content. Anyways, let's get to it. The double trouble is dumb. The damage is just barely above stock, and those who use it think it deals way more than it should. The only thing I will give it is that it can kill a scout in one hit, which is nice and all, but if you miss by an inch, it won't kill them. I mean, you could have just used stock. Stock is better in every way, so if you see you use someone using this weapon, don't take them as a serious threat. The Dia Donut, it's actually pretty decent. If you're carrying your entire enemy team, it's actually really good because of how fast you can eat it. Yes, it gives the least amount of healing for a food item, but the people who use it really don't have a medic. I'm not saying the people who use it are anti-medic, but yeah, this guy thinks he can't rely on his teammates. And he's mostly right. Special Ops Sushi is only good in a very rare situation, and that is if you actually have a decent medic on your ass. Therefore, the stereotype for this item is that the people who use this trust their medic. Sometimes a bit too much. Now, I like to use it as an award for my medic, for when my medic ubers me an objective, he gets some extra gas station sushi and 50 more max health. Let's be real here, no one actually eats this before heading into battle. The gravity coil is OP as hell. Every head V should be using this, when applicable, and yes, I am biased on this weapon. Heavy lacks mobility, and is practically solved with this item. Because if the enemy team doesn't see you coming, everyone dies, blah 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 blah. I went into this in my previous video, which is so much better. Please watch that, it's great. But something I will add on to that is they tend to leave their medics for dead when they jump into a high surface. Hey guys, I'm gonna go up here to catch that engineer. And now you're all dead. Great. Gutbuster users are 100% battle engineers, and if they're not, they don't know what they're doing. They're either tired of the enemy demo man or playing team deathmatch. There's a wide range of skill with this weapon, so either the NG actually still puts his teleporter down and helps his teammates, or he's a moron who only places his entry. But holy crap, you go so fast! You wouldn't believe the difference this makes. Plus 100 metal is perfect for moving gear up, and players which use this understand that the enemy demo man is always going to be there, so they stop crying over spilt milk and make another sentry. Investing and relying into your sentry is generally a bad idea in the first place. So yeah, good weapon. The sub shotgun is actually really good but everyone who uses it will hold it out when they have a medic on their ass. For some reason, a lot of custom weapons is just kunai but certain glass. Just like this is kunai but heavy. But yeah, please, just unequip it when you have a medic on you. What in the world is this supposed to do? Keep up with the enemy scout? No one uses this, so there's no stereotype. And it's really bad overall. That's what I would have said before I actually start using this. I thought, ew, with a tiny bit of speed, but then I realized what plus 25% speed actually does. You're literally a demo knight. Try this out, but I don't think it's better than the next item. Why is this called a messy kill? It doesn't do damage. Anyways, this weapon, this, it's not even a weapon. Uh, this item is actually pretty good. That height bonus makes a big difference, and bigger than you think, and the most people that use this will spam space and make them unsnipable, which is really necessary for medics, so if you see someone using this item, then trust them, they're actually a pretty good medic, most likely. 
The blood doctor sucks ass. It actually doesn't two times the damage like a normal mini crit would. It only does 35% more, which is a bunch of horse crap. So when you see anyone using this, I can guarantee they don't care about the objective. Now that being said, I typically see Blood Doctor uses Pocket Medicaid, which is the place that this item is supposed to prevent. So the people who use this are even worse at the game than you might think they are. The Poacher's Pride is hella good. You'll typically see this gun being used by pros who understand the value of not having a laser that basically shouts, Hey, I'm over here! And also isn't the Luxman. Either way, this gun is very powerful under the right hands. It usually is in the right hands. Usually. What is this weapon? It stands against everything I stand for when I play the Australian Sniper. And I can say that because I'm Australian. This gun sucks ass, and its no movement speed penalty while aiming in is useless. What will it let us do? Either way you look at it, this gun sucks, and anyone playing it also sucks. And that's all you need to know. Anyone using this weapon is trying to get into a really stupid spot on a map and then snipe from there. It rarely works out for them, and they get like no points on the scoreboard, so don't expect this guy to do anything. There's also worth noting that you were given 100 max health, meaning if you switch to Demo Man and use the standard pipe bomb, you can one-hit this guy and it'll really piss him off. Probably switch to a different weapon. <laughs> I don't really see anyone using this and I don't know why. I guess it's a bit similar to why the Diamondback is less popular in TF2 because everyone wants to use a different primary, but like... It's still a pretty fun weapon, even if it's not as good as the original Diamondback. What the fuck is this piece of shit? This is, I want to use the Stapper, but I don't want to use Stock. Is it better? I think it is. If it's actually taking down the enemy sentries, then I'm all aboard. Also, what the hell is this supposed to be? A phone of two chargers? I don't know. This weapon encourages the spy to shoot the buildings for them to die faster, but usually doesn't save that much time. Neither does the damage reflect onto the other side of the teleporter, which is something that is would be helpful. It's also worth noting that 90% of the buildings spies come across are among crowds. I guarantee the enemies will notice if you start zapping them. That being said, it's worth noting that the buildings get activated significantly slower, which helps your team if you can coordinate a push within a time frame. But I guarantee that is not happening in this game. This is paparazzi for the enemy team. I don't expect anyone to use it if they have it equipped, and 90% of the time I see this item, it's actually for a contract. Yes, yeah, seeing an enemy through a wall is nice, but like, sentries are a bigger problem. So please, stop using this weapon and use an actual sapper. This is worse. Why would you use this? Part of your job as a spy is to destroy the enemy's buildings. And I don't think you seeing through walls for five seconds is going to help that. You won't see this used often, but anyone who does use it is an idiot. Deagle has an awesome animation, and honestly, I just use it for the animation. But don't let that blind you from the fact that people who use it think it's better than it actually is. Think about it, you need three headshots to kill a scout, and you're not even using it at long range because you're the sniper, so it's even harder to hit. You also shouldn't go offensive as a sniper because of your low health, so everything is pointing away from the Deagle. Yet people still use it. Is it because it looks cool? Absolutely, I agree. 
I'm not a scout and I want to use the pistol, but I don't want to use stock, so I use this instead because maybe it's better. I don't know. That's all for the custom weapons in the game. Yeah, there's lots of other custom weapons which are no longer in the game, like the firework launcher and such. But I won't be covering them, nor will I make a video if they're added back or if new ones are added. But please, like and subscribe though, because I will make a lot more TC2 content if this gets popular. And you probably want to be there for it. Anyways, if you see me in game, say hi. I always appreciate a fan. And have an awesome day. Bye-bye.